Yesterday I'm done some visual um, part in the Indian um, COVID data set. I'm done. Okay. I'm done all the cells. Ah uh, yes. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Julie. Good morning. Ah, uh, this ah uh, Ankita and Bishmaya is in Python. Ah uh, no. Okay. Ah, uh, just a minute. Okay. Yeah. So for Ankita, Bishmaya, and Shweta, ah, uh, I guess you people are from Java. So, Samar have already shared the link. Kindly join. Can continue. Okay. First, I uh, have to here. I'm uh, data will be presented in a uh, visualization part. I'm done in this uh, project. Yes. Okay, uh, you can scroll down. Here, a uh, little bit of uh, clumsiness here. That's why I remove that uh, clumsiness here. Okay. This code is not completed. That's why the error will be coming. Okay, it's okay, Gitana. Yeah, so Next, you are doing uh, top death, uh, 10 deaths. Okay. <laughs> yes. Here I'm in the I'm ELP project uh, and done some uh, visualization part and uh, code part also. Okay. First, I want to check the employee joinee date. Um, that's why I'm. Okay. Uh, Julie, is Siddharth Sharma from Salesforce? Uh, yes. Okay. This is my yesterday's uh, progress shuffle. Okay, Keithana. Yeah, good. Uh, you can stop sharing now. Thank you. Uh, yeah, Keithana Kapra. Good morning, ma'am. Yeah, good morning. Yes, good morning. Okay. So yesterday I have worked on bulk apex triggers. <clears throat> bulk apex triggers the de uh it's deals with the um, it it is a uh, creating trigger by using list uh, DML statements, SOQL statements. So in this, uh, we can create the triggers by using the DML statements and uh, design and re record operating on record sets. So here, operating on record sets means, say this is a task I have did yesterday. This is a trigger, uh, a trigger uh, created for the opportunity. That is for uh, especially for closed opportunity 
on opportunity field. So here, uh, trigger dot new. It means when the opportunity is when the opportunity from the list is take uh, is assigned when the opportunity stage is closed on, then the trigger will fire and it assigns the subject as the follow up test task and what ID to the opportunity ID. So here this if condition uh, if t list dot size is greater than zero means uh, okay. it creates the uh, triggers. Uh, here I'll show you the task based upon that we can we can get clarity. So here I have created the apex trigger named for closed opportunity trigger for the object opportunity. So here events I should use that after insert and after update. These are the these are the events, and after that condition stage is closed one. So here condition I have used in the opportunity stage name is equals to closed one in the for loop because it iterates for each opportunity trigger each opportunity field. So here. Mm, so when I when it goes into the into this loop opportunity opportunity then it checks that if the opportunity if we give the opportunity stage name is closed when then it adds the ta this subject as the follow up test task and uh, this what ID field it sets to the opportunity mm -hmm. ID. So after this, uh, so it, uh, here it is mentioned that bulkify the apex triggers so that it can insert or update 200 or more opportunities. So here, uh, the if uh, t list dot size is greater than zero, we can insert the uh, uh, list. We can insert the opportunities into the list. So this is the ex explanation of the code and. Okay. Mm -hmm. so these are the opportunities. Actually, it's a uh, trigger is not uh, available, not working here. <coughs> yes, our trigger is not working. Yes. Yeah, ma'am. Here it's not adding the subject and what ID field. Okay, wait. So, Anand, me, you are here. Yes, Anand. Yeah, hello. Yes, good morning. Uh, good morning. You have checked for her. Uh, actually, her trigger is not working. Uh, yeah, what uh, actually happened? I don't know. So, what is this? So, this is the, uh, creating the bulk apex trigger, sir. I have created the trigger. Okay. So this is a code. Uh, if I give the opportunity stage name to closed one, then it should assign the task that is new task subject to the follow up test task and what ID to the opportunity ID. So if I in my UI if I give the uh, closed stage as the closed one, then it's not showing me the subject and what ID. It means should I create the fields or? Okay. <laughs> All right, go to the code. Okay. Julie. Uh, yes, Alta. Uh, what about uh, Java and uh, Munstack? Wait, wait, I'm checking.
okay when you select the stage name is close known so a uh, new task is not generated right yes sir Okay. Okay. Try it to the different trigger handler class, and uh, uh, there uh, you can create uh, the list of the opportunity, and after that, we generate the task. Okay. I need to create the trigger handler class, right? And new. Yeah. Okay. I will do it uh, today. So after uh, this, uh, I'll work on this. I'll clarify the error. And after that, okay. So I have gone through the FX testing theoretical part, uh, how to create the test class and uh, what are the objectives of the test class. <clears throat> So here the test class is used to uh, generate the, uh, here test class is used to trigger the Apex, uh, like it, it is used to, uh, when we create a trigger, we will create the Apex hand, uh, handler class also. So that Apex handler class will be uh, handled in the test method. So this is about the test class. So my progress is going on this. This is, that's it for today. Thank you. Okay, great. And thank you. Yeah. Uh, Siddharth, uh, you can start mm -hmm. your presenting. Attendance link. Uh, yeah, great. And just uh, for just a minute. I'm still working on the flows. Uh, I have created another flow. And in this scenario, I'm creating a flow for updating the records for the users having the same email. If like we provide an email and it is matched by the some accounts, like same email, then the email opt out uh, will be checked out, like uh, will be checked. So in this, I'm using a decision element. First, I'm taking a screen to get the input for email. And I'm matching those email to the contacts. And then I'm setting a decision area uh, for not null and null. For not null, matched contacts, like uh, I'm providing the name, email, and the email opt out field to this screen and then I'm creating a loop for I created a loop for the matched contacts will iterate like the emails equal to true and then I'm setting all those in this variable cons uh, all the emails that are entered by the user and that is that are matched and at last, I'm updating those. And the variable I'm using here is being used 
here to update the contacts and we can select uh, how many we can update. So if I debug this, uh, example, if I convert the same image. Then it will show all the image contact and before they're not checked. So we will select them. Okay. This is field or not checked yet. Okay. Next, and it is done. This chat box is now checked, and if we if the decision visible is null, then I'm providing a screen there for showing an error. Right? If I provide something like this. But I wanted to ask, like, if I have to add this trigger to my home page, how can I add? It is not giving me an option to edit page from here. Edit your uh, okay home page is not edited because uh, I think uh, you are uh, creating this to any trial. That yeah, module yeah. related, right? This is what you can mm -hmm. create uh, as private. Okay. So I cannot add here the flow. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, when you create new work for your site, mm -hmm. uh, these are available uh, for editing your page. Because uh, it's restricted uh, for as the seller home page. So you can't edit this page. So I can't edit the home page here. Yeah. Okay. So one thing that uh, you can assign another home page and uh, mm -hmm. in the, that home page you can customize. I have to create another it's home the page. It's seller home page, no? It's seller mm -hmm. home page, so you can't edit this. Mm -hmm. That's all. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Next, Ankit. Ankit. Yes, if I, you are here, okay, okay. Yeah, I am. Uh, yeah, uh, Pallavi. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can start sharing, Pallavi. Uh, yeah, Pallavi, you can continue. Pallavi, you can copy that table. Uh, you can copy yes, that table and you can... Uh, yes, you can copy that table in that progress sheet, Excel sheet. You can just copy and paste the table and you can fill your daily progress. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, Pallavi, are you saying something? You are not audible. Should I solve that problem? And that's it. Uh, 
लिटिल बिट स्लो पल्लवी यस मैम यस मैम या स्क्रॉल डाउन so how did you clear the all the null values sir uh, ma'am i put all the values in fill option yes before i think before that is Yes, ma'am. Okay. Scroll down. There is a clear null values. Okay. Today I worked in that much. Okay, Pallavi. And but uh, is your COVID nineteen project completed? Um, uh, I will start today. Ah, uh, okay, Pallavi. You can stop sharing now. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, yes. Okay. 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 Clear. Uh, so I guess everything is done for Salesforce. Um, it left. Uh, yeah. Sifali, you can carry on. Uh, you are done with Salesforce. Everyone is done. Uh, yes, everyone is done. Okay, uh, Julie. Uh, yeah, Ayush, you can share your screen. Yes, ma'am. Ah, uh, Julie, you can leave if you want to, and other Salesforce uh, also can leave. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, okay. Ah, uh, Shivali, thank you. Ah, <clears throat> uh, ma'am, I have uh, completed the data visualization part that uh, Rama Kansar had mentioned yesterday. Uh, that okay. uh, in the top ten uh, countries with confirmed cases in. Bar plot and scattered plot. Uh, then print the recovered cases. Dot, uh, top ten countries in bar plot and line plot. Then most affected countries by region. Then list uh, affected countries by region. Then top ten mortality rate uh, uh, and top ten countries with the highest. Mortality rate and uh, then the top ten uh, death cases versus region in bar plot and scattered plot and uh, okay. Ah, uh, which data set is this? Ah, uh, Ayush. Ah, uh, ma'am, COVID nineteen. Ah, uh, not data set one, two, or ah, uh, uh, it's uh, another. Ah, uh, second, ma'am. COVID okay. data set. Okay, okay. And ma'am, uh, I practice SQL queries that uh, sir taught in last class, uh, last database class. Okay. Uh, actor, uh, I practice in workbench. He had queries, and uh, I added uh, so, um, five que uh, queries. Like, uh, <clears throat> so actor name whose name starts with R and And with T, and uh, actor that includes. Ah, you did these queries by yourself, uh, Ayush. Like sir hasn't yeah. gave ah uh, like uh, name starts yes. with A and T, R and T. Sorry. Yes. yes. Okay. Ayush, Ayush, run this you know, one query. Which query? Um. Yeah, forty-eight. Yes. Ah. Uh, Uh, so actor name was name starts with R and end with T. So so robot. Then so actor name okay, that includes yeah. one uh, only. 
So what is uh, what, what is mean by uh, percentage A percentage? Can you explain? Uh, this is a way. This is a way you uh, print the um, letters. Means if if you print only. Uh, uh it is okay. for that like uh a's should be in uh, like middle of yes, the name or somewhere in the name and mm -hmm. before and after men uh and another characters can come yes which uh which platform you are using to work on mysql mm -hmm. i know that uh, my, mysql mysql Okay, the name name of the software is MySQL, right? Yes, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am, that's... Are you sure? Yeah. You sure? Uh, good work. Huh? Can you show uh, your data? Are you sure? Share? Can you show your data? You can stop sharing. Uh, One second. So data in SQL? Yeah, all data. Okay. You create own, own data? Uh, no, Ramakant sir taught in last class, na, uh, database class. Right. Okay, I'll stop sharing. Uh. Okay, me. Uh, Ma'am, your voice is uh, Yesterday, I couldn't do much since I had to take the SIP class. Uh, okay. And that's the project meet. So other than that, I just minorly adjusted all the font color sizing in text in my Django to-do list project. And then in the morning, I have started doing uh, coding practice on an online platform. So I don't really have Can anything much to share do. your screen at the... Am I not audible? Uh, Ma'am, your voice is cutting out a lot. No, oh, actually, it was uh, your voice is breaking. Uh, can you repeat? Oh, I think. Uh, John. My side. Uh, can anyone please let me know? Am I audible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, no, okay, Elta, you can share your screen if I'm audible to you. Uh, Altaf, are you sharing your screen? Yeah, ma'am. Uh, please accept my uh, second device because I'm joined on mobile. Uh, okay, but uh, you are not.
I hope everyone has filled the attendance sheet. Ma'am, it's not visible. Yeah, it is visible, uh, Altaf. Yeah. Ma'am, I'm done one project with uh, linear regression. Uh, then I'm starting the multiple linear regression. In this linear regression, uh, first linear regression is the only one variable, one dependent variable and one independent variable. There is only one uh, dependent and independent variable, but it's already done this way. And in this project, uh, Mehul uh, helped me for the front end part, like function. Yeah, this part. Okay, Elta. Yeah, you can stop sharing now. Now, one second. I'm... The multiple linear regression I'm uh, working right now. So, is a four uh, four uh, four variable in this variable is a one dependent variable and three independent variable so i'm working right now in this variable. okay uh, okay Kelta, you can stop yeah. uh, i think all are done right Uh, okay, if you have any queries, you can ask. Otherwise, you all can leave. Mehul? Uh, yes, sir, uh, uh, Hello? Mehul? Yes. Please uh, stay here. Okay. okay. All right. Shafani, are you there? 